Hi, good morning. Let's do today some start up with spinal mobilization, neck stretches, sitting up, and then let's do uh, when we lie down face up, and then let's do some leg workouts. So the first exercise is that you sit on a mat with your legs like this, your legs like this, if you can't, another goal here is to keep your pelvis upright. If you can manage your spine somewhat straight, you can sit on a pillow, you can sit on a foam roller, a yoga block, um, whatever is comfortable for you. And then over time, as you keep coming back to this and you keep opening up your hips, you will be able to sit easily on the floor. And so cross your legs. And then once you sit like this, let's have you change your legs because we usually sit in the same position. So I want to ensure that we just mobilizing the hip in a different angle. So the first exercise is that you sit on the mat, your hands are on your knees and try to bring your spine into straight and then you can also collapse it back down just a little bit. So it's like a gentle cat cow for your spine just to mobilize, start mobilizing your spine. So I feel a stretch in my low back with this. You can also press your hands into your knees just to provide an extra, extra, I don't even know what the right word is. For this, so try it. Push your knees away and lift your spine. You can also rotate your pelvis forward and back here just to like start everything moving. You can circle your neck, feels really good. Okay, the next one is that switch your legs, hands on your knees, spine is neutral. Try to sit evenly on your sit bone, sit bones, and you look straight ahead and imagine there's a conversation happening behind your back and you're really curious of what's happening. So you just, everything is stable, but you try to Isolate your neck from your rest of your body and then you listen to that conversation behind you. Don't let your shoulders roll forward or back. Keep them in neutral alignment. Come back to center and then listen to the conversation on your left side. Back to center, right. Usually one side is tighter than the other. For me, this is my right side. I feel a lot of stretch in my, I would say my levator, upper trapezius on, on, your right, on my right side. Back to neutral. And then to the left. I have a lot more range of motion and a lot easier to do on this side. You can also combine here with the breath. So inhale as you rotate, keep it there, exhale, and then inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, let's go to the left side, inhale. and exhale. Switch your legs once more. Move your sit bones, move the flesh out of the way so you can sit on your sit bone. Hands behind your occiput, 
which is that area of your neck when your head meets your neck. Arms out wide open and you bring your right elbow to your right knee. Without lifting your butt on the opposite side. So as I'm going to the left, don't let your right butt cheek rise up. So don't do that. If you can prevent that from happening. Right elbow to right knee. Feel a, a deep stretch on my on my side and in my back. Come back to center. And the right side again is a lot harder. Back to center. Don't let your butt come up. There. Switch legs once more. And then let's do two more. Right elbow to right knee. Here you can also hold this and then just play with your left elbow coming forward and then more back, rotate up towards the ceiling. Come back to center. Left elbow to left knee. Right elbow, rotate down. Right elbow, opening to the ceiling. Come back to center. Right elbow to right knee. Left elbow, opening towards the ceiling. Come back to center. And last one here. Right elbow to right knee. Rotate. The right elbow down. Rotate the right elbow upwards. Come back to center. Hands on your knees. Push your hands into your knees. And then lift your spine up. Imagine there's someone pulling you towards the ceiling. Mobilize your lumbar spine, mobilize your thoracic spine. It's like a gentle cat cow. Okay, and then let's go into the left legs. So the first exercise here is that you lie down on the mat. I'm going to start on my left side. I'm going to press my right heel, right ball of the foot, right toes down. And also keeping my right butt cheek down. Spine is stable, chest is open. My left leg, I am dorsiflexing my foot. So flexing the foot, bringing your, no, bringing your toes closer to your nose. And arms by your side, or you can have them on your hips. And you're just going to lift the leg as high as you can but you have to pay attention to that you're keeping your hamstrings and quads co-contracted. So don't let your knee bend. Don't do this. Only lift as high as you can. If that's all you can manage, you keep it there. Over time, you will be able to come up a lot higher. And as you're lowering the leg down, you're going to point your foot. So flex and lift, point, and lower. Flex, and lift, point, and lower. Flex, and lift. And here too, pay attention to keeping your pelvis stable. Your upper body is not doing anything. It's only the leg that's doing the work. Now reverse, you're going to lift the leg and point it, flex, and lower down. Point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift, flex and lower. Point and lift. Keep it up here, keep it at as high as you can. Flex your foot and you're going to rotate your knee out and back in. 
This is actually harder than it looks. So again, pay attention to keeping full contracting quads and hamstrings. Don't do this. Keep it at a lower lever if that's all you can manage. Here we're just moving your high bone in the hip socket. And then hug the knee in. If any time you need to rest, straighten back out. Lower the leg down, lift it up, turn it out, and lower it down that way. Rotate it back to center, point and lift, rotate, flex, lower down. Point and lift, turn out, flex, and lower down. Hug the knee into your chest. other side. Press your left heel, left ball of the foot, left toes down, left butt cheek down, straight on your right leg. Upper body stable, chest is open, nose pointing upward, and you're going to lift the leg, flex, point as you lower. Flex and lift, spine is stable, point and lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. And then switch, point and flex. Point as you lift, flex as you lower. Point and flex. And last one, point and flex. You're going to point your foot, keep your pelvis down and rotate your knee in and out in the socket four times. Keep your knee straight. Use your quads to keep your knee straight. Okay, and then what did we do? Point, turn out, flex, lower, neutral. Point, lift, turn out, flex, and lower down. Bend, bring your knee into your chest, stretch it out. Either single knee stretch or double knee stretch. You can also rock it side to side. And then let's bring the leg down. And then let's do my most hated exercise, which is called the climb a tree. So here the right leg is straight. You're going to left lift your left leg up at a 45 degree angle. You can also keep this knee, keep the opposite knee bent. So you can keep your right knee bent, right heel down, right ball of the foot down, right toes down, pelvis is down. A leg, your left leg is at a 45 degree angle. Turn it out a little bit and you're going to lift your head, curl forward, and you're going to climb up on this tree keeping your leg straight and you climb up as high as you can and then you walk your hands back down. Control your pelvis, control your spine. Fly all the way down and now let's do two more on the same side. Leg is turned out, lift your head, curl forward, walk your hands up, change your pelvis walk as high as you can. This is very hard. And then walk your hands down. If you cannot come up as high as I can, then you can also just lift your head, start curling forward, and come up as high as you can manage. And then just come back down. Let's do on the other side. Anchor your left heel, left ball of foot, 
left toes rise like straight, 45 degree angle, rotate your right knee out, point your foot, lift your head, curl forward, and slowly make your way up as high as you can. You can also change your spine there and then walk your hands down. Two more. Lift the head, curl forward, walk your hands up. Change your pose, walk your hands back down. Last one, lift the head, curl forward, walk your hands up. Keep your knees straight, walk your hands down, lower your upper body down, hug your knees in, and then let's do some, finish with some back body. So let's do some, actually no, let's, let's finish with some shoulder mobility while sitting up. So again, cross your knees and then change and cross it again. Sit on your pillow, on your bolster, on the foam roller, or just on the mat. And then bring your arms out in front of you and you're going to um, just lift your scapula, shrug your shoulders up, shrug them down like you want to put your shoulder blades into your back pocket, bring them forward, and then bring them back. Imagine there is a hazelnut between your shoulder blades and you want to crack them. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Shrug up, down, forward, protract the skull, and then retract. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, crack the hazelnut. Or another visionary cue is that you closing your elevator doors so your shoulder blades are like this and you want to close them back together. As you bring in your shoulders forward, you are widening them apart, opening your elevator doors. So shrug up, down, put your shoulder blades into your back pocket, open the elevator door like you want to hug someone, hug a tree, and then crack the hazelnut, close the elevator door, up, down, forward, and back. Up, down, forward, and back. Hands back on your knees. And then let's just do five deep breaths to finish with. Press your hands into your knees and deep inhale and long exhale. That's five for me. Okay, well, I'll see you next time and have a good day. Bye-bye.